So we're speaking on the eve of the uh, game against Portugal, of course, at Tallis Stadium. Uh, what's the latest team news? Um, we've had a few withdrawals since the squad was named, uh, unfortunately. Um, Stephanie Roach uh, was taken ill in the last week, um, tonsillitis. Um, so she's unavailable, uh, which is disappointing because she, she scored a lot of goals for us in the last few games, you know, and she's obviously a talent and always a threat. Um, likewise, Denise O'Sullivan, another big player for us, is also unavailable. Um, she mislaid her passport and, and hasn't been able to get a replacement in time. Unfortunately, she's in the USA. Um, I think that pass replacement was only arriving tomorrow, so too late to get her across. Um, so there are two big losses to the squad, and I suppose that those on top of the unavailability of Megan Connolly and Megan Campbell's a long time uh, absentee from the squad. You know, it, it just makes us a little bit thin on the ground. You know, because we we don't have a huge pool of elite players, unfortunately. But having said that, one or two of the youngsters have stepped up to the plate this week, so I'm excited to see them maybe get some game time and get some more experience uh, in the game tomorrow night. Well, like you said about those youngsters, what more can you tell us about about those players? Um, well, we had Tegan Ruddy and Roma McLaughlin in with us again this week. Um, I think I already mentioned I possibly would have had one or two more of our under-19s in, but they were away uh, with that squad playing a uh, friendly in Belgium today, so that was better for their development. But Roma has really, really stepped up to the plate. You know, she she was in the, the, the squad in Wales last month and she really laid down a marker and staked her claim, you know, so she's made the squad and, um, I mean, she's a real talent. She, she never gives the ball away, technically very, very good. She just needs, obviously, experience, you know, she, she needs to, to develop at this level because it is a big step up too, so we don't want to put too much weight on our young shoulders. But she's here on merit, so I'm looking forward to, to seeing her maybe tomorrow night. And, indeed, she's integrated really well this week and she'll only learn from, from being with the older girls. Um, likewise, Tegan Ruddy has done herself no harm at all. Um, she was in in the 22, um, and she's even younger again, 16 years of age, and... Uh, Acquit herself very, very well, and some of the older players that hadn't seen her, you know, were really surprised by the level of her ability. So I'm looking forward to seeing her maybe in the coming year push on as well. So I think it's exciting times for for the squad. You know, there's more youngsters as well ready to take the step up probably in the coming coming months and coming games. So hopefully exciting times ahead. And finally, Portugal need a win to qualify, but this is a really important game for us, of course, for those that seed in place for the next competition. Absolutely, it's really important that we keep the third seed, and you know, so the win tomorrow night is vital um, to help us keep that coefficient and take be in the third pot for the World Cup draw in April uh, next year. Um, our, our competition will start a year, a year, a year away from from this month. Um, Portugal have really done well in the last couple of games. They've taken four points from Finland. I think I said from the very beginning, I felt they were going to influence this group big time, and they've done that. They've now put themselves in a position where if they beat us and Finland don't get anything in the Spain game, they go through, you know, and fair play to them for being in that situation. But, you know, it's, we're not there just to spoil their party. We're there tomorrow to try and win the game. We, we want to win all our games, obviously, and particularly our home games. But obviously, as we mentioned, we want to try and make sure we can we, we stay in, in third place in the group um, and keep that seeding for, for the next qualifying campaign.